I'll be the host for this career talk. Namaste, Swadika. I would like to welcome you all for the second career talk, which is focusing on career opportunities in Thailand and abroad. So this career talk is mainly helping the students to avail the opportunities of internship and international education at an international university. So to support this career talk, we have two universities, repeated ones, KMITL Lakhrabad and Asian Institute of Technology, Thailand. So our distinguished faculty from both the universities have joined today for this talk. So followed by Professor Nithil, Dieter Trau from School of Engineering and Technology and Dr. Uma, Vice Dean of International Affairs and Professor Somyu, uh, Dean of School of Engineering and Technology. So today I would like to request Professor Dieter Trau, who is Dean of School of Engineering Technology to give his welcome remarks and explain about the program. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, welcome and uh, best greetings from the Asian Institute of Technology here in uh, Thailand. So my name is Dieter Trau and I'm the Dean of our School of Engineering and Technology. And I'm also um, the director of our new entrepreneurship center here at AIT. So the School of Engineering and Technology, in short, we call it SET. So uh, we are, uh, we are a, a classical engineering school. However, we only have master and PhD programs. So therefore, I am very happy that we work together with our partner from King Mokut's Institute of Technology, um, at which they run a very interesting and a good um, engineering um, undergraduate program in English. So um, let me explain you a little bit more about uh, my school. So we have uh, three departments. We have classical disciplines. We have a civil engineering uh, a department. We have classical engineering in, in construction and um, and uh, uh, we are very strong in the field of uh, water, uh, water engineering and management. That's actually in our genes, that uh, the roots of AIT come from this field. <clears throat> we also have other uh, engineering programs, uh, a new program in nanobio uh, materials and the science and engineering. We have programs in mechatronics, which includes robotics. We have interesting new program in internet of things, which will impact us all in our everyday life. And uh, also what will impact us all is artificial intelligence and big data, where we also have launched a new program. So uh, details are all available on our website. But let me add one more thing apart this, um, uh, these uh, programs that we have, you know, um, and address this to our students and maybe future students. So of course, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we're living in very uncertain times. And what was very important for us at AIT is to make, to convert uncertainty to certainty, means to make sure our own students, they can continue their study and new students can start their study. Education should not be delayed. And to make sure also that if students want to come to Thailand to uh, AIT, um, we make it possible for them. And to do this, we have introduced different initiatives. We have introduced our, what we call flexible degree options, where we allow students to start quite a big part of their coursework uh, actually online through what we call hybrid mode of instruction. And uh, it works very well. In this mode, we have students in the classroom and we have students online and even these two groups of students, they can see each other, they can communicate with each other and communicate with the lecturer. So um, with this, we want to make sure, you know, that students who want to start their education can start it from any place in the world um, with us. But if, if it's possible that they can travel uh, to, uh, to, to Thailand, we also helping them because we have established our own quarantine facilities on the AIT campus. And I believe we are one of the very few or maybe the only university who has this. And we work together with uh, embassies in different countries, helping us to organize the flights. We have our own van to pick up our students and from the airport, bringing them straight away into our quarantine facility. And we work together with our medical partner, the. Um, the uh, Tamasat Hospital, which is very close by, 
you know, to make sure everything is absolutely safe and uh, efficient uh, because, you know, the safety of our students and our faculty and staff, that's our, you know, highest priority. So with this, uh, thank you very much. And I look forward to a very interesting uh, discussion later. Thank you, Dean Dieter. So this, thank you for actually explaining about AIT. The move would be explained in the promotion video that we are going to play now. Yes. Here in AIT, the environment is truly international and multicultural, as people who work, study, and live here come from more than 30 countries across Asia and other continents. That's why I have plenty of chances to make new friends and learn about their cultures. The learning experience here in AIT helps students to achieve their full academic potential. The classes here have become a stage for students from different cultural and knowledge backgrounds to discuss issues that matter globally. Being here, I was inspired by the Institute's goal of creating innovative solutions. My research focuses on novel green tree or biotechnology that recycles, reduces, and reuses our waste. I am certain that the research findings we are doing here at AIT can potentially be applicable globally to make people's lives and environments better and to achieve sustainable development goals. Social impact has been AIT's legacy and is still our positioning today. Social impact permeates our research and our education. We're injecting more innovation and multidisciplinary thinking in our research. We're engaging in more collaboration with globally prestigious universities, including dual degree programs. We're making AIT more relevant by broadening and deepening our network of businesses and NGOs and governments for the benefit of research, internship, and job placement and we're nurturing entrepreneurship and service learning as part of AIT's experiential education. A distinctive feature of our teaching and research programs is their close alignment with some of the major global challenges facing humanity. For example, climate change, energy, food, water security, technology, public policy mismatch, and human machine fusion. Now, given the innate complexity of these challenges that defy straightforward explanations, our teaching and research programs emphasize multidisciplinarity, cross-thematic considerations, and pragmatic insights into the role of emerging technologies in broader socio-economic contexts. We are working with many universities and governmental organizations in research collaboration and outreach activities. Some of our research findings have already been translated into new government regulations, new engineering standards and practice, and new engineering applications and tools. And I believe our long-term effort has created significant social and economic impact for communities in the region. We believe that our main role is to produce experts who are truly global citizens who can think globally and act locally. Our School of Environment, Resource and Development takes an interdisciplinary approach to study, analyze and solve global and regional sustainable development challenges such as social and gender inequalities, rights and sustainability, urbanization and migration, food security, energy and environment, natural resources, and climate change. The best management schools in the world are based on a strong industry involvement with leaders coming from around the world. It's also a place where a culture of innovation is encouraged. At our School of Management, that is the culture we're trying to encourage with regular interaction with organizations and business schools where teaching staff and faculty come from around the world. No idea is discarded, and a multidisciplinary approach where collaboration with other schools is supported. We 
the Entrepreneurship Center is supporting AIT students, its faculty and alumni, to transform their ideas into tangible outcomes such as prototypes, business plans and startup companies. We aim to bring our experienced AIT alumni and successful entrepreneurs back to the campus to share their experience and stories and to work with our students and faculty to build their dreams here at AIT. It's not only the knowledge and subject in the classroom, but the way of thinking. Because when we come to work, it's not exactly as it happened in the books. So having AIT experience, so we look at this like a way of life, and I can find many solutions to overcome the obstacle, the problem, and also another thing is initiation. This is the very important thing for the success in the working life. In my personal uh, career, uh, with the knowledge that I have gained from the Asian Institute of Technology, it has been very helpful in uh, dealing with uh, people, in uh, managing my uh, work life, in managing my uh, family life, and also in actually furthering my knowledge through uh, the research uh, capacities that I have gained from the Asian Institute of Technology. Our graduates will be well prepared and have vast opportunities to pursue their passion for social impact by continuing in academia worldwide or joining local or multinational companies or working for socially focused NGOs or becoming government officials or starting their own businesses. Thank you. I hope our corporate video would have given you an enough idea about AIT and its tools. So I would like to just brief about today's program, which can actually give the audience more idea. So today's program is actually broadcasted in YouTube as well as Facebook and also live stream in India and even in Thailand, in TV. So today we are focusing on international unified and bachelor master education, collaborating with KMITL and AIT. So students can actually join KMITL for their, under, up for their undergrad after finishing their high school, that is plus one and plus two. Doing their undergrad, they can actually join AIT for their capstone project at eighth semester and continue for the masters. And this program is actually designed to give an international exposure to the students and giving more advanced technology and robust knowledge to the students. And this is being live broadcasted to the foreign expats and also Indian nationals who are in Thailand, around 8,000 people. Thank you. So now I would like to request uh, Dr. Sumil, Dean of KMITL, to give his welcome to us. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for being here and welcome all the, the audience. Um, for my remark, I would like to briefly introduce to the King Mongkut Institute of Technology Lakabang or KMTL and also the KMTR Engineering School. KMTR, um, King Mongkut Institute of Technology Lakabang like KMTR has been founded in 1960 or 60 years ago as the telecommunication center located in the non Taburi province under the cooperation of the Thai government and Japanese government. Um, throughout the past five decades and with the strong devotions of our instructors and the alumni, our school has been grown up to be Thailand's preceding land in engineering. At the present, um, our school consists of 12 departments and with the one international school inside our KMT Engineering School and 28 undergraduate programs and 18 graduate programs, making our school of engineering to become the largest school uh, in Thailand as well as um, uh, the institutes as well, containing the most courses and as much of um, 305 instructors along with more than 6,000 students. 
Our school cover almost all the field of subjects in engineering, from the basic engineering to the advanced or professional research works as well. And this year, we are very proud to say that the Tom Higher Education World University Ranking 2021, uh, including more than uh, 1,500 universities across 93 countries and regions, uh, making them uh, the largest and most diverse university ranking to date, announced that KMTL has ranked first in Thailand in research and industry income. So, okay, um, this is from our sharp turn and disruption in academics, so curriculum and also research innovations. And nowadays uh, we are, um, we live in an increasingly globalized world which presents a number of opportunities along with an ever increasing number of challenges. It is therefore we told for our university operating in the 21st century to have strategic approach to the internationalization of its activities. Internationalization is not an in itself. Our aim is to embed in everything we do. Okay, um, we actively promote internationalization at home to sustain a global outlook in all staff and students and ensure that the university is a welcoming intercultural environment. We continue to attract and international three diverse staff and students population and we increasingly internationalization uh, the curriculum as well. Um, we promote staff mobility and explore the development of international school summer schools, uh, providing opportunity for intercultural exchange and licensing the visibility of uh, our programs and research activities. Okay. Currently in our school, we have 12 international programs with 15 different engineering majors. These international programs are hosted under the School of International Interdisciplinary Engineering Program. We call it as SIIE, which is in our KMTL Engineering School as well. Our international um, engineering programs are ranked the top three programs in Thailand with highest competitive admission ratio in the Thailand admission systems. Our top three international programs are biomedical engineering, robotic and AI engineering, and software engineering. Each year, we accept almost 400 students into SIIE, along with others, um, 1,500 students in the Thai programs. This is really a big diversity in the school where we find good branding between those 2,000 uh, students almost. Um, once students enter to the School of Engineering, KMTL, they may have different pathways out besides the conventional graduations. A number of students want to continue their higher education degree in Thailand or elsewhere. Why some want to get out and get a real job faster than normal? We realize the need of for the urgency of the student to walk into the professionalism and get on with their life. Therefore, unifying different level of academic programs is a decent way to achieve the target, speeding up the, the undergraduate students to their master degree within a shorter time. Why AIT is expertise in research and publications KMTL has solid and well-known undergrad engineering programs. So our unified program between KMTL and AIT gives students with two degree, the bachelor degree will be what from KMTL, while the master degree will be what forms uh, the AIT. These accelerated programs allow the students to earn a bachelor degree and master degree in minimum of 45 years. So we are quite certain that these unified programs will draw a large number of Thai and international students applying to this program. That is all of my remarks. We will be introducing KMTL, KMTL School and Unified Programs. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to see your discussion as well. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Sumit. Thank you for actually explaining clearly about the international programs and the exchange opportunities that students can avoid. 
so the more information we can actually play video promotion video of KMITL that can explain more in detail. The international program under the Faculty of Engineering at KMITL was established in 2016. In order to accommodate the rapid growth of our international programs, the faculty has reorganized them under the School of International and Interdisciplinary Engineering, or SIIE. Welcome to SIIE at KMTL. SIIE has been opened since 2015. Currently, we have 12 premium international programs with multidisciplinary aspects, including Robotics and AI Engineering, Computer Innovation Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Industrial Engineering, and so on. We believe that our future graduate students will drive our country with novel and creative innovations. In addition, the increasing number of high potential practical engineers will attract foreign companies. We have many collaborations with many universities and industry. These resources and connections will enable us to create the future of engineering, global engineer. Finally, we are looking forward to see our students to have an opportunity to develop new society in Thailand industry. Biomedical engineers are tasked with developing technical solutions to meet the needs of the medical community by uh, utilizing fundamental engineering principles. It's a multidisciplinary topic encompassing aspects of biochemical, uh, electrical, mechanical and software engineering as well as fundamental topics associated with medicine and pharmaceutical development. Our program provides chemical engineer with professional expertise to serve the industry and academic sector and prepare our students to have learning and innovation skills, information, media and technology skills, as well as life and career skills. KMTL Civil Engineering offers many areas of specialization for educational and research focus. Construction management, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, transport engineering, water resource and environmental engineering, and many more. While pursuing the degree, the students are offered with various industrial and research opportunities. The Computer Innovation Engineering Program is the platform for the academic advancement of the 21st century. By combining theoretical foundation and hands-on experience, the student will learn the computing skill required for today's workforce. And the program offers up-to-date trends of technology, including Internet of Things, Cloud Computing, Cyber, security and data analytics. Our program also deeply integrates with the study of the innovation process to help students transform their ideas into startups that will drive our future. Our program in electrical engineering focuses on uh, professionalism, cross-cultural competencies, communication skills, technological literacies, and design mindset so that students who graduate from this program can be competitive not only in uh, our local market but also in ASEAN community. The research and instruction uh, expertise of this uh, program faculty uh, in the area of uh, uh, that emphasize in Thailand 4.0 policies covering uh, alternative energy, autonomous robotics for manufacturing, smart electronics, advanced telecommunication, data analytics, and information management. Energy engineering is a multidisciplinary field of engineer. It combines the thermal engineering with a part of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, and industrial engineering. We will prepare engineers for support a new era of disruption. Data energy will be a very important issue for all business and industry. Our financial engineering program that we cooperate with NIDA intends to train a new generation of financial engineers who have a strong foundation in the theories of economics and finance, mathematical methods for data analysis, and computer programming and technologies. The graduates will be able to skillfully analyze huge amount of financial data to support the planning of investment strategies and the management of risk, as well as the development of new financial products. 
The Industrial Engineering and Digital Management Systems Program, or IENDMS, covers all essential materials from industrial engineering methods and tools, fundamental mathematics and physics, as well as engineering and management sciences. Trained through hands-on experience and project-based environments, our students are expected to develop the digital systems-oriented, critical and analytical thinking skills required for the future of manufacturing. Mechanical engineering is one of the major fields in the industry. It is the fundamental discipline which can be corroborated with other advanced areas such as automation, robotics, biomedical and mechanics. Because we are well known by the industry, after graduation our students have great opportunities in their career path such as automotive, building systems, petrochemical plants, applied manufacturer and many more. Join us and pursue your dream of becoming a great engineer at Mechanical Engineering KMRTL. Robotics and AI program provide the technical deep drive into the area of robotics and artificial intelligence or AI to prepare our students to be ready for the 21st century. We produce graduates with a highly relevant skill in robotics and AI area. We can develop, employ, and manipulate intelligence robots and AI systems that can capable of learning from hands-on experiences, half academic, half industrial. Software engineering is a discipline that concerns aspects of software production, including software analysis, design, development, testing, and deployment. It requires profound abstract and logical thinking and the application of mathematics, logic, and computer science in order to produce efficient and reliable software with the available resources. Software engineering principle is essential for research and development of a cutting edge technology like artificial intelligence, data science, Internet of Things, and cloud computing. Software engineers are immensely important driving force for the digital transformation of Thailand. Here at SIIE, we continue to provide world-class engineers who are set for the international stage and offer well-equipped, smart classrooms as well as co-working spaces that promote collaboration amongst our students. With international lecturers who are always at hand to provide their experience from overseas, the SIIE program has now achieved global recognition. To move forward with the new era, SIIE is now ready to grow globally with internationalized activities and collaboration. We'll continue to create the next generation in smart engineering for the nation and the world. Yay! I hope the video actually gave a brief intro and a full intro too about KMITL and the programs that are offered at KMITL. So now may I request Professor Nitin to explain about the Unified Bachelor and Master program for which this webinar mainly focus on. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy that many of you are joining today and uh, we have with us Professor Dieter, Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology, AIT. Then uh, uh, Professor Somyot from KMITL, uh, Dean for the School of Engineering in KMITL. Dr. Uma, Vice Dean for Academic and International Relations. And uh, we are being hosted by Mr. Ranadhir, who, who is now employee in AIT, but he has studied in the Unified Bachelor and Master pro Program. He did his bachelor in India from JNTU, Hyderabad, and then master in AIT. Uh, I'm Nitin Tripathi. I'm professor in remote sensing and GIS in the School of Engineering and Technology. I'm here in Thailand since last 20 years. And uh, I joined, uh, before uh, joining AIT, I was in Indian Institute of Techno Technology, Kanpur, uh, India. I think all the Indians know about that institute which is a very high level 
top five institute in India. And uh, in AIT, when I came here, I realized that uh, engineering bachelor degree is not sufficient. Uh, there is a lot of uh, people with bachelor degree now, and uh, there is a huge competition. And as the technology is advancing and transforming, we need engineering leaders, technocrats who can lead and uh, can take Thailand or their country into Thailand 4.0 or automation. So, or make a smart country. So we realized in AIT that we have to partner with prominent institutions, uh, which are premier in their country, like KMITL in Thailand, and uh, some uh, other institutions in other countries, and then uh, combine with them so, and develop a program which is bachelor plus master. And then it can offer uh, opportunities for the good students to become technology leaders. They can become expert in certain areas. So with that view, we started this and it was very successful. Uh, right now I'm the director for a special degree program and we have with uh, uh, several countries, but Thailand, we have with KMITL, our unified bachelor master program. And then uh, we are looking forward to working together. And uh, we are going to help the BTEC student even for their bachelor degree project. So I think uh, this kind of uh, people, they can serve at a much better and higher potential for the industry like in new technology areas, because BTEC is just giving you a foundation, but in master degree, you learn much more and you can become expert as the degree title says master. So I'm just focusing on the uh, student who are in grade 12 or high school to think about their career. Like after uh, doing your grade 12, uh, you are planning to go for science or engineering or something else. So suppose you go for engineering, so today's talk, you can see the leaders like Dean from KMITL is here, Vice Dean for Academic and International Relation, who can help, who can answer a question, how to join this prominent institute. And then after that, how to join AIT, our Dean is also here, I can also guide you. Now, what you will achieve if you go for unified program? So, from your perspective, you are going to do uh, get the two degrees, bachelor and master in reduced time. Like uh, normally take four years for bachelor, then you have to struggle hard to try to, and get admission into AIT or some prominent institute. And that takes a lot of effort. You have to prepare for one year and uh, then try to get admission. But here, just after grade 12, if you go to KMITL, your career path is fixed. And then uh, you can change your branch or uh, specialization. That is up to you, but uh, there is no need to worry about admission for the masters. That is one thing. Second is uh, you can save complete one year. Instead of six year, you can complete your bachelor and master in five years. So we are trying to use our summer vacations and uh, also long holidays because many of you will be coming from different countries in the international program. So you can stay at a shorter duration and then complete the two degrees. Now, third benefit is you are getting opportunity to get jobs from two institute, career fair or employment, uh, when the companies visit for campus jobs. So you can apply for jobs in AIT, be conduct job two times in a year. And KMITL also uh, invites a lot of companies and you can get campus jobs. So a lot of things are there. And above all, uh, your fees is much reduced. Both for bachelor and master, we are giving a very good package uh, because we are thinking that once you are taking decision as an incentive, we have embedded AIT scholarship into that. So you have to pay less and you don't have to worry about that because you will be paying in number of installments your fee. So that financial pressure is also quite less. So there are multiple things that you will do. Now, one point that uh, Ajahn Somyot has told, uh, international education. Uh, AIT is number one in the internationality by QS and EU multi-ranking. And uh, 
we have faculty from more than 25 countries and then a student from more than 40 countries. So this makes you like when you come to AIT campus, you will find as if you are in a global village. We are in Thailand, but uh, our language is English. Anybody can talk to anybody and uh, there is no problem. Plus you get the food of different countries like uh, Thailand, of course, then Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, all these foods are available, Italian. And uh, so there is no problem of food. There is no problem of any uh, like uh, facilities, our classrooms, library, everything, labs, everything is available to you 24 hours. Very good education environment. And that is why AIT is also one of the top in the research. Like uh, by the ranking of Thailand Research Fund, we have got uh, top ranking in many areas. So research also is very good. Then above all, I will say, icing on the cake is networking. You get the network of more than 28,000 alumni around the world from AIT. AIT was one of the first uh, high rank higher education institution in Southeast Asia. It was set up by Seattle graduate, as a Seattle graduate school in Chula Lankan University in 1959. And since then it is uh, nurturing a lot of uh, people into technology leaders. Uh, Taiwan, many people came, first generation engineers to study in AIT and they have built Taiwan. So Malaysia also same thing. Later on many top universities came, but still AIT holds the name in the research. And our, uh, we have got very high ranking into sustainability research and uh, by in the world ranking this year. So I think uh, uh, if you come and interact with the professors here, uh, they will help you to build up your career. So from the very beginning, if you join the unified program, you will see that uh, you are being nurtured into a, some kind of a leader in technology into your field. Both the institutes are in uh, Bangkok, not very far. And then you can visit both institute at any time. And we also make arrangement that uh, you can come here. I think uh, uh, last year was a very tough year. Things are improving uh, because of COVID. Uh, things are now, uh, because of vaccine now, things are improving. And I think uh, by within three to four months, things will be under control, let's hope so. Even if uh, there is any issue, uh, AIT is having organizational quarantine and uh, the student can directly come to AIT and then they don't have to stay outside AIT for quarantine, they can stay in AIT. And uh, we are also thinking uh, not to charge for your quarantine because it is quite expensive. So that is also one of the a plan our dean was telling, I hope we will succeed that uh, you don't have to pay for your quarantine. So uh, with this, I, I will say that uh, I will stop here. And uh, I think this is a good opportunity for all the people who are in high school and grade 12 to look for a, a better opportunity of study by taking admission in KMITL. And uh, later on, you will be coming to AIT for your masters. Thank you, Randir. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Nitin, for actually briefing clearly about the Unified Bachelor and Master Degree program, and also explaining about the opportunities that AIT would offer. Now, may I request Dr. Umar to explain and give a short overview of KMITL and international education. Thank you, Dr. Umar. Thank you for um, giving us the opportunity to talk about um, KMITL and the Unified program. And thank you so much for um, uh, Dr. Nitin for the nice words about KMITL as well. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, both in Thailand and abroad. It's a um, very honor to be here today. So let me say a few more words about KMITL and the School of Engineering and also um, the life here uh, at KMITL. So um, School of Engineering has a, a very good outstanding record of more than 90% graduate employability for in each academic year. So um, this is because we provide our students with 
uh, very highly competitive academic programs that integrate cooperative training with uh, leading industrial partners, both in Thailand and abroad. Um, our undergraduate programs combine the lecture and laboratory-based classrooms with work integrated learning or WIL will, like a mandatory internship, uh, elective cooperative education, and an industrial experience for engineering, where the students can gain a real life professional skills from industrial sector for almost one whole year continuously. Uh, our academic calendar in KMITL is divided into two semesters and one special uh, semester, which is the summer. Um, usually the first semester begins in August and lasts until November. And then the second semester begins in January, lasts until April. Um, the last uh, semester, which is the summer semester, begin in July and that, um, sorry, begin in June and last until July. Uh, students usually take six or seven courses per semester. The first year student will study um, fundamental engineering and science uh, courses together. Uh, then after they go on with their second, third, and fourth years, they will take more and more specialized courses uh, in their engineering fields. Uh, let me say a few words about internship and uh, the cooperative education, because those are the major parts of the student life here at KMITL, especially at the School of Engineering. Uh, internship is a very mandatory part of our undergraduate degree for every single engineering program. Students are required to take an internship during the summer of the third year. We believe that the internship provides students with very valuable opportunity to explore and develop skills in the professional industrial. Sometimes students can even turn the internship into a full-time job later. Uh, for cooperative education program, those programs require students to take one semester or about 16 weeks for cooperative education program before their graduation. Uh, it is currently optional. It's not mandatory for the student yet. The students uh, who take this pathway, they will spend the first semester of their fourth year out in the industrial sector, working very hard. And then after that, they will come back to KMIT out to study for one more semester before their graduation. And uh, students may be wondering how's the life at KMIT out or even where KMIT out is, right? Because it's in Thailand and you may not recognize or you may not know much about KMIT out in Thailand. Uh, KMITL is located very near uh, the Suvarnabhum International Airport, and that makes KMITL is very easy to access from a number of ways. For example, you can access KMITL by the airport link train. Uh, this takes about five minutes from the airport, and it will take about 20 minutes to the city. Um, buses are also very affordable. Um, you even can take a commuter van from KMIT out to many locations in the city. Um, the conventional train is already here. Uh, it might take a little longer to take the conventional train to the city. So there are many available accessibility, uh, accessible uh, to come to KMIT out. So, and also for the life here at KMIT out, um, we have a full range of facilities for students' activities from sport uh, facilities, healthcare centers. We have a lot of banks situated within the KMITL. And of course, we have um, dormitories. Uh, students can select to join one of many vibrant student organizations here available at KMITL. Um, we have a lot of uh, clubs and organizations so those clubs and organizations provide excellent opportunity to uh, pursue the hobbies or even learn more about their favorite subjects like robotics. 
and um, that will widening their uh, social cycles. Um, so that's probably all for my remark about a school of engineering and KMITL at the moment. Um, thank you for listening and I will be looking forward to answer all the questions. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uma, for clearly explaining about the international program. And I'm actually happy to tell you that we are receiving some questions even in online, Facebook and YouTube. So one thing I can say like this unified bachelor and master program is really benefited to the students because even I'm a proud graduate of AIT who also came to AIT under this program where Professor Nitin has already explained I have done my bachelor's in India in JNTU Hyderabad, which is also a national university, which is a government university, which is collaborated with AIT under the same program. So we have around 500 students who have come under this program to AIT. So they're still, it's, it's a program, which is still an ongoing one. So we have like a 390 graduated students, 70 students are yet studying. So this program would also offer the students to have an international exposure as AIT is in a really reputed international university, has in many international collaboration with other universities and agencies. So I myself had an opportunity to be a research fellow by, of Erasmus and, uh, and also the Belt and Road Initiative of China and UNEP project of China. So it also gives you a, explore a horizon of opportunities and make your career path in a much detailed way. So I would suggest and recommend this program. And I have a few questions for Dr. Uma, the questions that we are receiving from Facebook. So what is the entry requirement for the KMITF? And are there uh, any scholarships that are available? Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Uma. You can answer. OK. Um, the entry requirement for uh, international programs here at uh, School of Engineering, we have um, one is the English proficiency test. So uh, students who come to the international program should have um, the English test standard score equal to IL about 6.0. But if they don't have it, that, that's okay. Um, we, uh, we, can, we have uh, the ESL courses to provide them uh, to know to get to the better English requirement. And in addition to that, uh, they will have the SATs, they can have either the SAT score uh, higher than 1,020, I believe, uh, or they can have the GPA of over uh, 2.75, right? Okay. Uh, your sound is muted, Ren. Are there any scholarships available for the undergrad students? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. We so, have a number of scholarships available for, um, for, for international students, um, both with uh, the lack of um, uh, their parents' uh, money or those with very, very good grades. So we have different kind of um, scholarships available for the students. Thank you, Doctor. And there's one question. A student wants to join directly AIT for a lateral entry. So his question is that, are there any, how would I join AIT? What is the entry require, requirement? And are there any scholarship opportunities that I can get? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I can start to yes, answer yes. this question. Yes, so yes. Uh, the, the uh, GPA, I mean, the requirement is 2.75. Yeah. And uh, yes, uh, you know, we have uh, scholarships and uh, admission for August is still open. Um, of course, our scholarships are on a competitive basis and uh, many of them are already taken. However, our own AIT scholarship is still available for students if they want to apply and uh, consider AIT. Thank you. So there are some questions like about the accommodation and uh, what are the living expenses? Maybe Professor Nitin can actually explain about the accommodation and living expenses at AIT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can tell about AIT. 
Yes. So yes. in AIT, roughly you need around uh, three hundred dollars yeah. for your accommodation, air condition room, plus uh, for food and other expenses. So three hundred dollar per month you need for that one. But if you want a much more bigger room and uh, like uh, if you are married, uh, you can get a married accommodation. So it will be little expensive. But uh, if you come with like say. Two hundred seventy-five to three hundred dollar you can manage per month. Yes. Are there any part-time jobs that are available at university during the due course of study, sir? Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe I can uh, first uh, add a little bit to Professor Nitin's answer. Actually, yeah. those accommodation is available here on campus. We yes. have uh, we are a residential campus. You know, yeah. so uh, this means. A lot of our students and myself. I'm I'm speaking to you now here from the AIT campus, which yes. you can see some impressions in the background yes. uh, uh, slide here. And uh, so we are a residential campus where a lot of the faculty, students, and also some staff and so on. They live all together here and form an international community. You know, uh, we are basically an English-speaking island uh, yes. in the middle of Thailand, and. Uh, uh, yeah, so this this is uh, where the communicate where the accommodation is uh, located. Yes. Actually, here on the campus, and we have different types. You know, we have very simple rooms uh, with fans. Then uh, we have air conditioned rooms, and we have special accommodations for married couples and so on. So, uh, regarding yes. the question on um, is there any work or so, you know, um, at um, at our school set, we have a very large number of students who actually have what we call student assistantships. So uh, they are working you know, with us. They are working in research projects. Some students work for me at the Dean's office, helping some promotion like this. And uh, we have students working um, in our for our classes as you know, teaching assistants. So uh, we have a large number of those uh, jobs at um, AIT. And uh, they are taken up by, of course, the students who have, uh, you know, certain uh, um, ability and experience in this work. And they are all our student assistantships. And the payment of those is something depends on the qualification of the student. And uh, um, how senior the student is, is something between 150 and 350 baht per hour. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Thank you. So even I can add one more plot. Thing to it. So even I was a student of AIT, I can say most of the professors at AIT and even at KMITL, they have a projects. So students can actually be part of the project. So it's a learning experience as well as they can earn their life, like monthly expenses that can be covered by that. Too. So one question, it's actually from me. So this would be on the career opportunities. Generally, students would look for the career after the bachelor's as well as the master's. How would KMITL and AIT support for the career opportunities? Maybe Dean Somit, you can actually give, give an insight about KMITL. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. Can you repeat the question again? Because the communication is sorry. Sure, sure. Uh, can you please explain about the career opportunities? How would KMITL support for the career opportunities of a student finding a job? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, so uh, it is a, our really have a very uh, formal platform. Uh, yeah. For our, our KMTL to uh, get a job, uh, then the, when the students is uh, um, uh, has the uh, ability to, to do the work, we have to connect connected with our alumni and also mm -hmm. our existing network. This is very long long term of commitments. For example, we have uh, more than six years of uh, our connection to the industry and also our alumni is uh, in the industry as well. So when the student uh, achieve one third year, so they have a summer training conduct with uh, if, if they would like to uh, get a job or uh, to do the research or work uh, at the industry, they can conduct with a cooperative uh, educations for the first year, the first uh, semester of first year. And if they still interest to do the research or work in the industry as well, they can conduct to the second second term, second semester of the fourth, fourth year by conduct this uh, industry experience course. So that means the student can work at the, at the, at the manufacturing or at the industry uh, from the third and fourth years. 
Yeah. Also, we have the uh, some of the uh, job fair and everything with a very formal platforms that are making the students uh, get the jobs. So that's why uh, our KMTI engineering students uh, get more than ninety five percent of students can get the jobs in the past. Okay, and the next is a uh, is a continue to learn uh, the master degree. Yes, it's really good to know that university actually supports the students for the internships. Thank you, sir. Knowing that. So maybe at AIT, what are the career opportunities or how would AIT support? Maybe yeah, we have mm -hmm. quite some uh, similar approaches. You know, we have, um, we have our career center at um, AIT and every year we organize what we call our career fair. Uh, so um, of course this has changed a little bit. You know, classically our career fair is a physical event where we have in our big, you know, um, uh, in um, AIT, um, in our auditorium, we are inviting uh, quite a number of companies and the, and the number of companies has growing uh, 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 fast over the uh, past years. And those companies, they uh, have a booth there and uh, you know, they are actively really looking for uh, engineers. Uh, and uh, so students can, can stop by the booth and um, speak with them and so on. Uh, unfortunately, this career fair now has changed a little bit. Uh, but we have some videos on our AIT YouTube channel. So uh, there's one very nice video that uh, students can have some, some idea. Uh, yes. And of course, another channel is um, AIT has a lot of very, uh, you know, underground uh, applied uh, uh, projects. We are working with many companies and with, um, with government organizations and NGOs and so on. And uh, so students working in projects of our faculty and so on, they come in contact with those um, organizations. And so this is another avenue uh, where they can, you know, have a first contact and show their abilities and then, you know, get, get some time a job over those channels. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as actually we can see, like we are running short in time, it's already one hour. We can take one last question from online Facebook. So students want to know, can we join directly to AIT as a lateral entry? So maybe Professor Nitin can explain like how can students join under lateral entry and what are the requirements? And are there any scholarships that are available? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Randhir. Uh, uh, since uh, a student will take admission in KMITL, then it will take him like uh, 3.5 years to come to AIT. But uh, some people who have already done their a bachelor degree or who are in KMITL in their final years or third year, they can also plan to join AIT. Uh, Dean Dita has already told that our requirement is 2.75, uh, their performance in academics uh, in their last uh, semester. And then, then they can directly apply online. So when they want to apply online, so there is a website I think uh, we can share the website unified.ait.ac.th and a complete procedure is written on that one. So you can contact uh, Mr. Ranadir. He's working in the same office of a special degree program and then he can guide. So we have a pre-admission form and uh, then this pre-admission form is uh, approved by the Dean. And once it is approved, you will get a number and then you can upload all documents uh, in the AIT main website. And that time you will be given the same kind of fee that we give to our KMITL student when they come here. So already uh, there is almost a 40% uh, uh, institution fee given as a scholarship, AIT scholarship. So I think uh, that's a good support. So I think uh, uh, those students who are aspirant to direct admission, uh, who have already done their bachelor degree or in third year, they can think about it. Thank you, Professor Nitin. Yeah. And I think if there are no more questions, we can actually... Uh, one thing uh, I yes. wanted to add, Mr. Randhi, yeah. regarding the job, uh, since uh, AIT professors have uh, come from many countries, from top universities, so if some people want to do even PhD after... Uh, their bachelor or master program, then it is easy for them to get admission into top universities, which is very difficult otherwise to apply and get 
Yes. And uh, since we are a global university, so a lot of companies who are coming here, they are global in nature. They are not only from Thailand. They are coming from India, sometime Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, and they take our student. So the job that you get from AIT is really international. And uh, many of the student, even from Unified, uh, they have done that. And one thing also I would like to add, I think uh, Professor Dieter can tell about entrepreneurship. Uh, he is director for Entrepreneurship Center. So we are also nurturing them to make their own uh, company. So Professor Dieter can tell on that. Yes, that is right. So uh, we have started our Entrepreneurship Center end of 2019. And uh, so we have a very nice physical facility uh, with a maker space for students to build prototypes with rapid prototyping and so on. And another multi-functional uh, space for events and group meetings and so on. Uh, but unfortunately, we have to move to also here to hybrid mode and a more, more online a version of it. But also, uh, we have established our first, you know, uh, incubation program for our graduates. We actually have a program where, you know, typically our students, if they do master PhD, they already have developed some ideas and they know what they want to do. And uh, they have already gained some knowledge and maybe they already built a, pr a prototype. And uh, then after their graduation, we have a special program for them. You know, we uh, call it the Founders Grant, uh, which they can apply for and receive. And for six months, they will be incubated as a first stage for six months after their graduation at our entrepreneurship center. And they actually receive a salary to make them fully concentrate on their startup. And uh, so during the six months, they're expecting to, you know, get uh, something that is tangible, they can show and get some other type of support uh, from outside and so on. So we have established this and this is another career path. You know, in the past, people just want to work, uh, you know, in a company. But now many people think, hey, you know, I become my own boss. So this becomes a very interesting new career path for students to start their own business. And uh, we are supporting them with the entrepreneurship center and also a big asset that we have at AIT is our international alumni network. So 70% uh, of our students are, you know, foreigners, and we have very strong alumni chapters in many, many countries around the world. And these alumni chapters, they are very willing to help our students, you know, to, and then graduates, you know, to uh, start uh, businesses, create contacts, and so on and so forth. So that is a strong point that we have here at AIT. Thank you for actually explaining about Entrepreneurship Center and also about the opportunities that AIT would offer. And I would like to thank Indothai News Channel who actually supported us in making this uh, TV interview possible. And thank you everyone for actually joining for this TV interview. And thank you for actually be sparing the time even on the weekend Friday. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Umar. Thank you, Dr. Sobhi. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Okay, thank you. okay thanks everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.